women's movements today are redefining any discourse if their identity, dignity and rights are compromised. There is no single unified women's movement in India. There are diverse issues. Therefore, there are diverse women's movements. But all these movements have led to the rise of dynamic women leaders. Their approach may be different, but there is definitely one concern which brings them together. How to restore women's self-respect and social well-being. Women and ecology, and women and nature, in my view, in my world view, is an ecological connection. In the eyes of capitalist patriarchy, there's a relationship between women and nature which is essential in form, it is dominating in form, it exploits both. In my vision of the relationship, both nature and women are creative forces of the world. They are protective forces of the world and they are connected because they give us life. I was very much attracted by the principles of uh, Gandhi's Ahimsa and Nonviolence, and I was much drawn into this because I have seen very many women and children who are struggling and straining for, for their very survival within their own families. So I was thinking myself, what should I do in this uh, situation to extend a support or hand to such women who are in crisis situation, such children who are in crisis situation. Um, that actually motivated me to start Cultural Academy for Peace and uh, Sakhi Shanti Bhavan and our community village integrated development programs. In India is at all confined only to a few educated urban women. I think what happens is that those are the women who are the most visible, they are the women who are the most articulate, and therefore the media who covers the women's movement sometimes uh, makes it seem as if the movement is limited only to those. But if a poor woman is battling against uh, some a violence or something in her village, nobody's going to talk about that. And yet that is where the women's movement is really located. So I think it's a much bigger thing than what you see. You, what you see is only the tip of the iceberg. These women have been sensitive enough to listen to the notes of agony and anguish pounding in the hearts of oppressed and marginalized women of India. Through their work, we witness the unseen shackles of the sanctuary loosening their grip on Indian women, the wilderness disappearing, the sound of a new music composed by the women, shaking yourself and soul beyond belief. A new era of enlightenment and empowerment is taking shape. Now, collectively, they can assert their rightful place and dignity in society and democracy.